exactly. Good morning, Janella. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Bree. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Jason. Are, are you at uh, the Micronesia Mall? Yes, I am at Micronesia Mall right now. Um, we're about five minutes away from opening up our lines for our uh, the resumption of our community mass testing. Are people already starting to line up? Yeah, yeah, we we actually have a couple rows of lines already waiting for uh, virtual doors or doors to open mm-hmm. or lines to open rather. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it, and and you guys aren't just there. You you guys are. Uh, there's another uh, clinic going on simultaneously, right? Oh yes, God. yes. We 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 also have um, at Teason uh, the old Teason Carnival grounds as well um, in Paragata. We have another community mass testing happening over there too. Mm-hmm. So this oh, test. And our car is coming through right now. So. Okay. So this testing follows. Uh, this clinic follows uh, the. The three days worth of clinic over uh, at Ukudu um, High School. Um, how did uh, everything go? Um, have you guys had a chance to kind of assess ha- uh, the the process over there? Uh, yeah. So you know, I think everything the three day clinic, the three day vaccination clinic went really well. Um, combine all three combined, including GMH as well as GRMC, we inoculated about 1,934 people. Um, and, you know, it was a very, uh, I mean, everything, all the feedback we've heard so far, at least for the Ubudu High School one, um, was great feedback, uh, very smooth flow, uh, you know, it was, it was ample space. So, you know, uh, made for really great uh, smooth flow in, in terms of being processed, going in, getting through the lines, getting your shots, and then being monitored. Um, and so hopefully when we continue to do vaccination clinics, um, it'll be the same process. Uh, five stations, you get in, uh, you walk up to the first station, we take down your name, your information, and then our second station is where we do the questionnaire, um, and it's the initial health questionnaire. Uh, and then station three is where we kind of go into more details as far as any history, um, medical history, medical background. Um, and if you pass all those three stations, then we go to station four, which is where you'll get your shot. Uh, and then station five is where you'll be monitored for about 15 to 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you go on home or you go back to work. Um, and you know, everything's, everything's done. So, so far, you know, everything was very, um, smooth going, you know, we did as uh, KOM reported, we did have the three, uh, reactions to the vaccine, which, uh, we are reporting to the, um, uh, adverse, uh, reporting system. Um, and, uh, but other than that, everything was uh, pretty smooth, no, uh, complaints, pretty successful. Uh, other than the three, were there any other uh, adverse actions, reactions? No, 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 no other um, reactions that were reported. Mm-hmm. Everything so far uh, were, were pretty normal reactions, you know, just mild um, injection site pain, you know, um, maybe some who reported uh, some mild headaches, but nothing uh, like the three that were uh, reported. Mm-hmm. What, what about the woman that was sent over to GRMC? H- how is she? Um, you know, after the uh, woman was transported to the hospital, um, at that point, um, we she's in the hands and then in the care of the hospital. Um, and the follow-up would, would happen there. Uh, and really, it would be for patient privacy uh, concerns. Mm-hmm. So uh, the status of, of the woman would be, um, it would be for GRM to follow up with what occurred there. Okay. All right. Um, so we got the release about uh, the, the Pfizer vaccines, the, the arrivals from uh, Saturday, and there was an issue with one of the, uh, I guess, batches or, or, or boxes. Um, do you have any update? Uh, have you guys heard from the, the, the feds about uh, if they're, okay to use yeah so uh we are waiting to hear from them which would be their monday or tuesday um so hopefully by tomorrow we'll know more on you know what the disposition would be 
with that particular um, box and what we would need to do with it. But in the meantime, what we are doing is, you know, we've recharged it with dry ice so that we can maintain those uh, ultra low um, cold temperatures uh, to ensure that it's viable. Um, so that if our the manufacturer determines that it's still, um, you know, viable and in good condition to be able to use it, then, um, you know, it, it maintains those temperatures. Um, so, and, and again, you know, the absence of that green light, that green color, doesn't necessarily mean that it's not in good condition. There could be a number of factors that, that it didn't have that green light or that, that green color. Um, so we're just waiting for further guidance from the manufacturer to let us know uh, when they conduct their own investigation to determine what happened. Um, that GPS enabled uh, thermal sensor is placed in every box. Um, and that's the neat thing about it being GPS enabled. They can also do their own uh, investigation from where they're located to determine what really occurred or transpired during shipment, uh, during uh, the delivery of that particular package to Guam. So we'll, we'll wait uh, further guidance from them um, to, to determine what we need to do with, um, with the, the box, mm -hmm. with the package. Um, for for the priority group, the phase one that that have been vaccinated um, so far uh, during the three clinics, uh, it, it it's also inclusive of uh, other essential workers, right? Like uh, GFD, GPD. Is that right? Because I I, I want to say I've seen pictures of not just the healthcare workers. Yeah. So phase one A is you know the healthcare personnel. Um, and then, of course, the long-term care facility residents. So that's where we're moving into next. We've already uh, reached out to, like, St. Dominic's, uh, you know, those um, nursing home residents. Uh, so we'll, we'll be coordinating with them to ensure that those residents receive their uh, inoculations of the vaccines. Um, and then the VAPPC, the vaccine committee, meets today. And we'll start discussions on phase 1B. Um, and uh, I believe that that's where like GPD falls in, those essential government workers um, and even like the uh, non-government workers, but they ensure um, the you know, uh, continuity of uh, services run. So like, for example, telecommunication companies, uh, critical infrastructure workers. So we'll start planning for phase 1B um, and, and that's um, that's what's on the horizon next. Danella, uh, good morning. I wanted to ask, uh, we've talked so much about how, you know, phase 1A, those vaccines are spoken for, uh, but you've only given out so many of them. Uh, what, at what point do those unused vaccines, do they get rolled over into the next phase or uh, is there a time limit for people to go and get it or how is that working? Uh, you know, so we've, we've um, given out 1,934 for phase 1A, but we're actually not necessarily complete with phase 1A. In fact, we are um, actually in discussions about the possibility of holding maybe another vaccination clinic uh, for phase 1A, possibly like a last minute type of um, a phase 1A call out. So it would be like your your last chance, not a last chance, but you know, uh, if you weren't able to come out during the three day vaccination clinic for phase 1A personnel, or healthcare personnel, uh, then we'll have another uh, vaccination clinic. Um, you can come on out because, um, you know, when we did our initial survey, we did identify that uh, for the phase 1A category, there may be about 2,600 people that fall under that, that uh, group. Uh, and we did inoculate about 1,934. Um, so there may still be some healthcare personnel out there um, that may have missed that first three-day clinic opportunity. Uh, so whether or not there's any leftover, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, take that count, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Um, and we did receive that second shipment. So that second shipment of 7,800 doses plus the 3,900 that we received the of the first shipment, and that actually completes our um, allocation for the month of December. So that's the 11,700. 
which we've already identified with fully immunized 5,850 people. Um, and then we, when once we move into January, um, we'll wait for word on what will be authorized or to, to place our order for the month of January. And what about the Moderna, uh, the Moderna vaccine? Any word on that one? So now that it's been given the EUA approval or it's been granted the EUA, um, it goes through the same process as um, you know, the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, so, uh, you know, now we're receiving word that um, nationwide shipment has been triggered because of the EUA approval. Um, so we're also waiting to receive word on when Guam will be set to receive the uh, Moderna vaccine. So it could be any day now, just like with the um, the Pfizer vaccine. So hopefully in the next uh, few days or week, we'll be uh, receiving our Moderna vaccines. And then, uh, but again, just like the Pfizer vaccine, we still need to wait for the ACIP recommendations for how to use uh, and administer the Moderna vaccines. And then on top of that, we still need the CDC approval of the ACIP recommendations. So once all of those are in place, then we can start planning for the um, distribution and administration of the Moderna vaccines as well. Okay. Janelle, are you part of the- those... Go ahead. Go ahead, Andy. Oh, sorry. Uh, were those numbers for the Moderna factored into this phase thing, or are you gonna get a whole nother phase uh, or group of people for when those vaccines come in? No, they, they're all part of the same, uh, you know, once we have uh, Pfizer, vaccines, Moderna vaccines, all of those will be all of the same, you know, okay. number. They're, they're all going to be part of the same pot. Well, okay. we're not going to, you know, set, set one aside, uh, Moderna, one Pfizer for one group of people. Um, you know, it's not like you get to choose which vaccine uh, you want to take. It's whatever is available. Uh, that's what will be given to, um, you know, the, the phases, the, the groups. All right. Uh, Janella, so are you part of the vaccination? I'm sorry? Are you part of the vaccination? Am I part of the vaccination? You know what? I, um, so at the end of the day, um, when the vaccine is diluted, um, it has to be used within a certain amount of hours. And so at the end of the day, there are uh, times when we have extra doses available. And if they're not put to use, um, they, they just go to waste. So at the end of the day, we may have like three, five uh, doses left over. Uh, and if at say three o'clock, uh, we're closed, nobody's in line, we do have some available and um, they offer it to the nurses, of course, and then they go down the line. So I was actually able to take the vaccine. So I did take the vaccine on Saturday. I waited till the very last day because I wanted to make sure that, you know, the, the nurses first were offered it. Uh, those who actually fall under the phase 1A. So finally on Saturday, um, after everybody else at public health who were really the priority listing got theirs. Um, so then I, I did, I volunteered and I did receive the vaccine on Saturday. So how, how are you feeling? Did you have any side effects or anything at all? I did, my arm was hurting. So it felt like, it felt like a 300 pound man punched me in my, my arm, but, but otherwise I'm okay. You know, I was, it's, it's kind of like, um, you know, when you haven't worked out in so long and you, you, you worked out your arm, it's like a sore, sore arm from working out. That's all it is. But other than that, I feel perfectly fine. All right. A anything else you, you, you want to uh, share before we let you go? I just want to encourage the community uh, to come out to our mass uh, community testing in Micronesia Mall um, and also to the Teas and Carnival Grounds in, in Barragata. And then also, you know, um, when it's your turn to take the vaccine, please, please do take it. We really do encourage the community to, on both mass testing and the vaccine. All right. Thanks a lot, uh, Janella. Merry Christmas to you and the family. Merry Christmas to you guys. Thank you very much. Right. Again, uh, mass testing, a community mass testing of uh, uh, is being available uh, now until I want to say, is it 12 noon? Look at this. It's from now until 12 noon.